Hey guys. So, um, it's 3.30 in the morning, and I just, well, I didn't just get home, but I got home about an hour and a half ago from my friend's party, and it was fun. It was the first part, because I don't really party a lot, so it was the first party I've, I've ever gone to that wasn't, like, a birthday party with, like, 12 people. So, um, but I was the designated driver, because I don't drink or smoke, so I was, like, the only one, the only sober person there, which is cool. I mean, I'm, I'm the only sober person most places I go, so, but, um but there was this one like it was really fun except this group of guys came I went with two of my well with my friend and her sister and we were just kind of standing at the edge of the party because it was a field party so it's outside by the way it rained today and I wore cute white shoes and it was muddy I don't even want to get into it but me and my friend and her sister were standing beside the party well, like at the edge of the field, and this group of three guys came up to us, and they were talking to us and asking our names and all that stuff. And this one guy came over to me, and he was like, "Do you have a phone?" And I was like, "Yeah, but I also have a boyfriend." And he's like, well, "Where's he?" He was like, "How come you're here without your boyfriend if you have one?" I was like, "He's in Georgia." And he was like, "Well, he'll, he'll never have to know. Just give me your number." So I kept telling him no, and he was like, "Well, at least dance with me." I'm like, "No, I don't dance." So, the entire, I was there, I got to the party, I think maybe like 11.30, and we left, because of that guy we left early, I didn't have to be home till 2, we left about quarter after 1 because of that guy, the entire night he was asking me to dance, while, literally he was dancing with my friend, because, um, he kept dancing with her because she let him dance with her, and, but she didn't want him to, which is why we left. And he was literally dancing with her, trying to get me to dance with him. Like, I just, I don't even, I can't. So, other than that, it was really fun. And um, two of my girlfriends, they I, they asked me to dance with them. And I don't, I told them I don't dance. And one of them was just like, no, come here, you're going to dance with us. So I got like, she pulled me between her and the other girl. And they were like, dancing on me. It was fun. Um, and so, yeah, that was my first grown-up party, and my boyfriend is kind of upset that I went because he's in Georgia, and he, he didn't want me to go, but, oh well. Oh well. Uh, I'm gonna go the next chance I get, because it was fun, except for that one jerk. But, you know, that's at every party, I guess. There was, like, there was one really cute guy there. Well, there were a lot of cute guys, but there was one really nice cute guy there who was talking to me. And, um, he asked me if I had a boyfriend, and he took no for an answer. He was like, you got a boyfriend? I was like, yeah. I was like, um, I don't know if I told him he was in Georgia, but I told him I had a boyfriend. And he was like, oh, okay. And then he didn't ask again to dance or anything like that. He just talked to me, which was nice. I hate jerks. I hate jerky guys who can't take no for an answer. Anyways, I have to go to, uh, orientate, well, I have to go to a hotel tomorrow. And then orientation for my college starts Monday, so I'm going to be so tired tomorrow and I have to get up at like 11. I know that's probably late to most of y'all but that is so early for me especially during the summer. Especially when I'm staying up till 3.30 in the morning packing and partying and whatnot. But um so I guess I'm just gonna go sleep hopefully and I'll update. I don't know if I'll be able to update anymore until I get back from my orientation which is over Tuesday. But um, I'll, I should be able to post something by Tuesday or Wednesday, so, I love you guys, and thanks for watching, and, um, I'll see y'all next week sometime. Bye.